welcome to Conspiracy Reviews and Tips once again. So today our product for review is Wolfie's Kitchen Weighing Scale. So for those who are new to Kitchen Weighing Scale or those who are planning to buy a new weighing scale, I'm going to show you a small demo on how to use a weighing scale. But first let me tell you the importance of a weighing scale especially in baking. For a long time even I have been using my measuring cup to measure all my wet and dry ingredients until I attended a baking class where I understood the importance of a weighing scale. For the simple question, imagine you are asked to weigh feathers and pebbles and you want 1 kg of both, so you are given a measuring cup to weigh it. So how would you do it? That's a tricky question, right? A cup of feather and a cup of pebbles is never going to be of the same weight, right? So now if you want to make a pound cake which requires equal quantities of wet and dry ingredients like flour, butter, sugar and eggs. And equal quantities means equal quantities by weight. So how are you going to measure it using a measuring cup? And if you do so, you're going to end up with a horrendous cake because the weight of one cup of sugar and one cup of butter and one cup of flour is not going to be the same, right? So that's why you need a weighing scale. So now shall we move to the practical side? Then let's go. So this is a packing of our Bulfi's kitchen weighing scale. A really small, light and compact product. The first red one is the on and off button. The second is mode and the third one is tear. So I'll tell you what this is for. And now this is the battery slot. And you get two AA batteries which is included with the product. So let's turn it on. So we press the on button and it goes to zero. So now let's see how we measure it. So I'm placing a bowl on this. So the bowl itself weighs 160 grams. So now I want to minus this 160 grams. So what I do is I press the tear button. So now the weight of the bowl is not counted. So we can start measuring our ingredients now. Otherwise, if you're going to measure with the weight of the bowl, you're not going to get the correct uh, weight of the ingredient, right? So that's the tear button. So now I have here one cup of sugar. So let's start. So it measures 209 grams. And what is the actual weight supposed to be? So I asked Siri what the weight of one cup of sugar in grams is and it's supposed to be 198 grams. But look at our reading when we use the measuring cups, it's 209 which means you're not going to be able to measure 198 grams using a measuring cup. So now with a different ingredient, I have one cup of cornflakes here and you can see that it measures 35 grams. So now do you remember the feather and pebble story I told you in the beginning? So this is it. So apart from grams, you also have another measuring mode that is OZ ounce. But don't confuse it with the fluid ounce. This is not fluid ounce. If you want to measure fluid ounce, you can do so by measuring the fluid weight on this. And you can convert it from OZ to FLOZ. I'm leaving the link to the converter in the description box. This machine can weigh up to 10 kgs and it has this auto power off function plus a low battery indicator. It has one year warranty if registered online within seven days of purchase. And the actual price is $9.99, which I bought for $4.99 on Amazon. Good deal, isn't it? So if you like this video and found it helpful, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching. See you with another useful video like this. Until then, bye.